Now, the horrific uh, scale of plastic pollution in the world's oceans has been epitomised by the contents of one whale's stomach when it was found washed up uh, on the shores of Indonesia. Uh, the entrails of the sperm whale were found to contain more than six kilograms of plastic waste, including 115 plastic cups, uh, a pair of flip-flops, uh, bottles and a plastic bag that contained more than a thousand pieces of string. Now, the cause of uh, the whale's death is not yet known, but environmental campaigners have called the discovery truly awful. Uh, well, that, of course, has sparked global outrage. And earlier I asked Eric Lindenberg from the Worldwide Fund for Nature about his feelings, uh, given that it, see, it's, uh, it needs to, we seem to need such huge uh, events to stimulate public awareness. It's heartbreaking to see uh, a whale being affected by the problem like this. Unfortunately, it's something that we are becoming used to. We're seeing whales, seabirds, turtles all over the world dying from plastic pollution. Um, it's, the encouraging part is that people are waking up. Uh, the world is seeing these images and, and find them shocking. And we're starting to understand that plastic pollution is a crisis for the ocean. And it's something that will affect, can affect our health, livelihoods and marine life as well in the future. Now, this obviously is gaining uh, public support, uh, as you as you say. Uh, but is there enough that individual people can do in terms of recycling to actually systemically change what's going on? Or really, do we need to look at governmental and, inter and global governmental changes? Yes, I think we do. Uh, individuals can do uh, uh, their part, but we really need a systematic change. Businesses need to take responsibility for the entire life cycle of the products that they produce and governments must must come together with much stronger and more ambitious policies to tackle this issue. I think we need global uh, a global response as well. This is a is a global pollution problem and governments and countries must come together to find an international policy solution. I think we need a new international treaty to tackle this issue. Uh, you're going to be speaking uh, at the UN uh, in Geneva later today about this uh, problem. If, if you could have just one policy that you'd like to see implemented, what would that be? I think at the national level, we need extended producer responsibility schemes and we need to ban those plastic products that we definitely don't need. And then at the international level, we new, need a new treaty that can create the overarching structure for a global efficient response to the problem. Well, that was Eric Lindenberg from the Worldwide Fund for Nature.